morning, I'd like to share with you a little story that happened in my life recently that I'm thankful for. Back at the end of last summer, the beginning of last fall, Brother Bob called me up and he said, Robert, my cousin needs a liver transplant, but he's over 50 and he has other circumstances and they probably won't let him get on the list for a liver transplant. And my aunt's upset and I said, Bob, we'll pray about it. So we prayed and he called me back a few months later and he said, Robert, they put him on the list. And I said, good, we'll keep praying. And then he called me the end of October and he said, Bob, Robert, my, my aunt's coming and my sister and could we get some crabs? My aunt likes crabs. And I said, yeah, we'll get some crabs. It was towards the end of the year, but we had good crabs last fall. And so I called the fellow that I get crabs from. And the first Saturday in November, he dropped crabs off at my house. And when I opened the lid on the bushel basket, these were the biggest crabs I had seen since 1993. They were monsters. And so I went over to Bob's and we, we cooked a bushel and I just took the first bushel I cooked off. And his aunt and his sister showed up and his aunt's favorite thing is, is blue crabs. She's from New York and they get blue crabs up there but not like the ones we get here. And she came outside and was sitting at the, the table on uh, Bob's deck and I put the biggest crab that I had seen in a long time in front of her. And I said, you have never seen a crab that big before, have you? And she said, no. And, and she sat down and I got to be blessed by watching his aunt sit there and eat crabs for two hours and not worry about her son that needed a liver transplant or any of the things that she was concerned about. She just sat there for two hours. She didn't really talk. She just sat there and ate crabs. And then later on, a few months later, Bob called me and said, Robert, they got a liver for my cousin. They're taking him to surgery now. And, and it worked out. And so far it's still working. The liver's working. And we've been praying every day for his aunt and his cousin to get saved. Um, but I'm thankful that the Lord allowed me to be a part of this and see this. And I think in today's society, so many of us are not thankful for the things that God allows us to be a part of or to do, we get caught up in this, this theme of the world that it's all about us and it's, it's not about us. And I say to the school kids a lot of times, the Bible says delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. If you do what the Lord wants you to do and you draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to you and he will give you those desires. He, if you make it about him, he'll make it about you. And we, we need to be more thankful. We have truly been blessed in this nation. And at this time we're going through with this virus stuff, we need to sit and reflect and be thankful and tell the Lord we're thankful for the stuff that he's done for us. So I, I, I'll give you a few Bible verses. It says in Psalms that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. It says, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. I will praise the name of God with a song and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. When God wants you, when you come before his throne in heaven, 
to come up there and be thankful and happy when you come. And into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. And let them that sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many were down to the glory of God. Be enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I, I thank you for today. I thank you for way back, way back in the, I guess it would be like 1965, that Brother and Sister Stokes and Brother and Sister Helton came down and told a poor little old boy about Jesus. And I didn't get saved then, but they showed me your love and they told me that you died for my sins. And when I was 19 years old on May the 17th, 1981, Lord, I, I accepted you in my heart and I got saved and I'm so thankful. And Lord, all of us listening now have a story and things that we need to be thankful for and tell you we're thankful. And God, I pray if anybody who's listening is not saved that they will receive you as their savior and trust you and walk with you all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.